Good morning! Every week I do live streams at twitch.tv slash funfunfunction and the clip that you are about to see is an outtake from one of those where I uh, talk X state with David Courchet but this particular video is about the bus factor and the value of pair programming and sharing knowledge in a team. It's a really good video and I think you're gonna like it. David is amazing. You should make sure you follow him on Twitter as well. Link in the episode description. Before we get on to the show, I would like to thank today's sponsor, Educative. Educative is an online learning platform, uh, text-based, interactive, where you can learn programming, all kinds of programming, React courses, microservices, uh, advanced JavaScript concepts, uh, Rust, any, anything you, you can imagine, really. Thank you so much, Educative, for sponsoring the show. Now, on to the clip. Yeah, that, that's one of the reasons that uh, that live share and this online real-time collaboration thing is so important because we've known for a while that pair programming is a really, really efficient way of sharing ideas and making sure that you limit the bus factor, oh. which if you don't know what the bus factor is, it's basically if someone uh, gets run over by a bus, is the project going to survive? And uh, for a lot of projects, the bus factor is one. So you really, really want to focus on sharing the knowledge with, uh, with as many of your teammates as possible. And, and that's why pair programming is so good. And LiveShare enables that pair programming without having to be physically present next to each other and without having to screen share, which you know can be a really awkward thing. And it's a lot easier to just be in the comfort of your own code editor rather than trying to navigate through someone else's screen. Yeah, it's, um, for me, like, there's a lot of people, uh, a lot of developers that want to do remote work, uh, and developers is one of those professions where, uh, where it's actually realistically possible to do work remotely. It's, it, but I, I'm one of those people that are, I, I'm deeply skeptical of remote work. I tend to see it I, I tend to value the high bandwidth communication that you get from uh, having an on in-person team. Um, like to value that very, very highly, to be able to sit next to someone and read read their facial expressions, you know, or like when you walk in to read someone's uh, read the mood of uh, or of, you, of your close colleague. Um, and um, uh, so I, I tend to take the position that that. Uh, on-site teams are always better. Uh, however, and especially like one of the big reasons why I've ho held that position is because of uh, my like that pair program is so fantastic. And in addition to the code, like the knowledge sharing argument that you put forward, I would like to add that it's um, it's also enormously effective. I find that pair programming sessions are so so focused um, I tend to just work more intensely because the other person tends to just trigger my attention and keep my uh, keep my attention going on the on the project and just give me a lot of energy um, and so if pair programming is lost uh, that's that's horrible and uh, remote work environments generally didn't gel very well with it until we had Visual Studio uh, Live Share. It's just a spectacular product yeah. for it. It's uh, it's so so good to have like that direct direct access. I've done a lot of uh, pair programming on uh, on screen sharing, and it works. But the immediacy uh, of Visual Studio, Visual Studio and the fact that you can uh, like keep track of different files and not just what the other person sees. Is uh, is just just amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and especially in this day and age, like you you see that remote work, like regardless of your opinion on it, it's so important because you know we have the virus going on, coronavirus, oh. and so a lot of companies such as Facebook and uh, Microsoft itself are requiring their workers to work remote oh. until the end of the month at least. So. When it's forced on you, it becomes more important. Uh, that's that's an interesting notion to be able to to have an organization where you you're required to remote, and I think that the, that's the only yeah. thing to do it properly. Um, like mm -hmm. because I think that my bad experiences have come from uh, organizations where remote work has sort of just been added 
wish wash uh, that yeah right. that you just like oh of course people are allowed to work remote that set up like a the basics like a VPN or stuff uh, but you still rely on processes that are uh, that are on site you rely on a uh, on a on a physical board you rely on uh, the the physical standups and anybody that does uh, remote remote in gets such a big drawback uh, from that that their efficiency efficiency drops. All right, hang on. Let's see. Uh, <laughs> Cat five. I, I love his comment. Just don't walk in front of buses regarding the bus <laughs> factor. Yeah. But like it's I mean it's a joke, but I think that a lot of organizations actually accidentally hold that uh, that idea. And um, that you should just try to avoid avoid mistakes instead of having a having a quick capability of fixing mistakes. Um, mm -hmm. So I've, I've worked in many organizations where people have been so afraid of deploying because mistakes can absolutely not get into, get into production. Uh, and right. uh, that means that they they never develop a process for shipping fast, which means that when bugs come into production, which they inevitably inevitably will, they just don't have the quick, quick capability of fixing it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um uh, about the bus coming back there, like it's not just getting run over by a bus. When one developer holds all the knowledge, the domain specific knowledge about a certain part of the product, it's not really efficient for the entire team. And so it's not just getting run over by a bus, the developer could move to a different team, the developer could even switch jobs and I don't know, just rage quit without without providing any documentation. So there's a lot of risk factors involved. Yeah, exactly. And that's why it's important. Yeah, people get sick, uh, people quit. Uh, it's, uh, oh, yeah. it's just uh, change and failure are inevitable, inevitable things. The universe is a, is a scary place. So the only thing that we can mm -hmm. do is to make sure that we have redundancy and capability of handling that. And, and pair programming uh, to share knowledge is a, is a great way of doing that.